What's going on YouTube? Uh, a lot of people were asking if uh, I ever got Mighty Mouse figured out. Yeah, I, I did get it figured out. Um, I had looked up the firing order and the one that I got was the wrong firing order. I guess it's for a uh, not either a non-HO or a 94 and newer 5.0. Um, but once I got to Ford Racing and seeing that they had another fire order, which makes three firing orders, um, and then I did some investigating on my old cap on on uh, what the firing order was, because I had one wire for number five that was a different color and the number one spark plug had been been uh, marked as number one so I knew one and five weren't together so I knew I had the wrong firing order so anyway excuse me anyway once I put that firing order in it got it straightened out it fired right off uh, I was able to time it time and marks lined up um, I was getting flustered yesterday afternoon when I made some of the videos and I uh, was kind of talking out of my ass and didn't realize that I was wrong on some of the stuff I was looking at because I was just so aggravated. Um, but anyway, um, today I put new valve covers or valve cover gasket on Mighty Mouse because these things are trash. This one, in fact, is broke. So, garbage, 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 garbage. Um, so now, and I drove it, I drove it up to O'Reilly's to get the, <coughs> excuse me, get the valve cover gasket. And truck runs good. Runs like a top. Breaks up a little bit on high end. That's carb tuning, I think. I might need to change the springs out in the distributor. But that's all tuning stuff. I can I can put it around and drive a little bit. But I will tell you right now, it's faster than a 17 and above Mustang 5.0. I'm just saying it's faster than it. I don't know what else is faster than, but I know it's faster than a 5.0 Mustang. So that's all I'll say on that. So you know what happened. Um, but I'm gonna fire it up and let y'all hear it. The uh, uh, V bands are leaking because they're in a bind uh, next week when I'm off work I'll probably take it to the exhaust shop and jack up the jack up the transmission a little bit try and straighten out the drive line and uh, at that point I'll have to have the exhaust redone anyway so I'm going to take it down to the exhaust shop and have them redo the whole exhaust from the headers down um, but it doesn't sound bad you can still hear it's got a pretty good exhaust leak right there at one of the V-bands and I can't get it any tighter. I'm worried I'm gonna break it. So, it's just in a bind and it's not in very good shape. So, anyway, let's let's quit talking and let's hear, let's hear it go vroom. Okay, let's let's let it go room with the battery hooked up.
So yeah, she went broom. Um, you can tell it's running a heck of a lot better. Um, so anyway, but that's all I wanted to show today. Y'all have a good one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.